They can hear me. If they can, they can. If they can't, they can't. My word for today is God is greater than your ups and downs. I said that a few minutes ago to myself because currently I'm battling something that it's not really something I can't handle or can't withstand. It's just something that hit me out of nowhere all of a sudden. Just a random spiritual attack. But God is greater than up and down. It, it, it led me to this message that God is greater than up and down, ups and downs. And what I mean by this is ups and downs spiritually, mentally, emotionally. You may be having a down, a bad day. That's a down. You may be having a good day. That's up. You may be, you may just fell into sin. That's a down. You may have not. That's a up. Like everything, God is greater than your ups and downs, your burdens and sorrows, your anxieties. God is greater than it all. He's greater than it all. And I'm, it, this leads me into my message. The Holy Spirit placed this on my heart to speak to somebody else that might be dealing with this as well. So since God is greater than ups and downs, God, God doesn't give us nothing that we can't handle. God doesn't give us nothing that we can't withstand. God can't, can't don't give it, doesn't, doesn't let nothing happen. Because we're his children, he protects us at all costs like any father would. Any father would protect their own child. So because we're his children, he doesn't give us something that's going to kill us or something that we can't handle. For an example, if, you, if you, you're a father yourself and you're trying to teach your son a lesson, you're not going to hold his hand. More like you're not going to hold his hand through the whole thing. You're going to allow him to learn it by himself or let him get tested for him to, for him to learn his own experiences and then teach him after the fact. So on, so on, so on, so on. So boom. God's not gonna give us nothing we can't handle. His for his for it said in his word, his burden is easy, but his yoke is light. Anything we face, anything we're facing, like it says in the word, it causes us to rejoice. He wants us to rejoice. He wants us to live. He wants us to see for it orally term may be see the brighter side of things. See the bright side. See the bright side of it. But in a biblically he wants us to rejoice when when trouble comes. He wants us to rejoice when problems come. You know why? Here comes the word. He wants to rejoice when these problems come because if you think about it like this, God is basically saying you're strong enough to handle that. He's letting you handle it because he's saying you're strong enough. It's not killing, it's not hurting you. You don't feel you don't it's not he's not saying it's bad to feel emotion. Everyone feels emotion. We're human. It's okay to feel emotion. It's okay to feel bad. It's okay to feel you're having a off day. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay. He wants he doesn't he doesn't care. He wants you to have emotion because you're human. We're in we're in human bodies. We're gonna have emotion. He doesn't doesn't want your emotion to become you. That's when the issue comes. God doesn't give us emotion. God gives us gifts which are our fruit, and we he he gives us he gives us fruit to bear, which are the gifts from him. He gives us joy, peace, love, happiness, patience. Well, joy, joy, peace, and love, patience. All the gifts, all the all the gifts, spiritual gifts he gives us, all the fruits he gives us to bear. He doesn't. Our our emotions come from our human bodies, so we can't help to help to have but have emotion. But God gives us, God gives us strength. Philippians four thirteen. For I can do all things through Christ that gives me strength. But that's not saying. Oh, I can lift this weight. That's not saying I'm in the gym. I can lift this weight because God gives me strength. Oh, I can do all things through Christ gives me strength because it means I can bear all things. I can withstand all things. I can conquer all things. I can go and face all things. I can face a, I can face disadvantages. I can face problems. I can face this. That's what that's what that scripture really means. I can go. I can overcome all things through Christ who strength who gives me strength because in times of weakness God gives us strength that's why we call him our father our savior our lord in times of weakness we call for him to strength which is why we're called to rejoice because if God thinks we're strong enough to withstand something that means we're able to conquer it if we weren't strong enough to handle it God would handle it himself but since he gives us since he gives us strength in times of weakness all, all we need all we either do, all we need to do is call on him call on him for the strength that he already knows we have inside of us and he gives, he's going to give us strength because that's our savior God will never give us something that we can't handle. So whenever you're in a whenever you're in a situation or issue and you feel like it's killing you or like it's bothering you, like you just have a down day, just like for example, you're just having a bad day. Think about it like rejo rejoice in those moments because 
God's hand, one, God's already handling on your behalf. But the fact is, God thinks you're strong enough to handle it your own. God think God, Almighty God, all powerful God thinks you, you are strong enough to handle it by yourself. And that's just, that's a blessing in itself. If an all powerful, all creator thinks you're strong enough, that's like, that's like, a, that's the biggest boast you can have. All by almighty being telling telling you a human can handle something, handle whatever you're dealing with. That's a that's the biggest boast you can get. Find the joy in it, find rejoice in it, because moments of moments, moments that trouble you, moments that show you like that attack you or burden you. That's a moment of strength. That's not a moment of weakness. That's a moment of strength. If you're getting tested, that's for a reason. You're doing something right. If you're getting tested, you're doing something right. Don't think of it as a bad thing. If you aren't getting tested, that's when you should that's what you should worry. You're strong enough. You're worthy. You're worth it. You're worthy, you're worth it, and you're strong enough to conquer what you're facing. Rejoice in those moments. But those moments give you true strength, especially when you do overcome it. Those moments give you true strength. But here are some messages and here's some scriptures and verses that's going to tie along with my message. Uh, I got the verses for just so you know, I'm not just talking on my head and it's not coming from me, but the Holy Spirit. So uh, some verses may be Matthew eleven twenty eight. No. Yeah. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Then Jesus said, come to me. All of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Another one will be First Thessalonians five sixteen. Always be joyful. Simple as that. That's a simple verse. Another one will be James one and two. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider an opportunity for great joy. That's going back to the rejoicing in those moments. Um, another another one may be. Second Thessalonians 3.16 Now may the Lord of peace himself give you his peace at all times in every situation. The Lord be with you all. And another one may be Romans 15.13 I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Those are the verses that helped me through whenever I was dealing with something and I pray that they help you as well because it kind of just symbolizes how God already has the trust in us and God already gives us the strength that we need for any situation. But when we are weak, we call on God for help. We call on God for strength because he's going he's gonna to give it to us as our father. But we also need to trust in our own. We, we also need to trust that God giving us. We have to trust in ourselves that God gives us those abilities. We have to trust that God gives us the strength. And because we trust that God gives us the strength, we got to trust that we can handle those situations on our own as well. Because God, God, God wouldn't give us like I said. God wouldn't give us nothing that we couldn't handle ourselves. That's the message for the day. Hope it resonates on somebody.